Let's start with when this all started and why it started, and then go from there. My name is Sean Sigurdsson. And I'm Katrina Sigurdsson, and we own Party Professionals. Um, we stumbled upon Party Professionals uh, 10 years ago on June 15th. We took over. Uh, we found it in the spring of 2010. Yeah. Um, we were looking for um, decor for our own wedding. And we actually just found out that this company that we were looking at to use was for sale. And we kind of on a whim thought hey we could do this <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and uh, at the time didn't really understand how big it was yeah we had no idea really what we dove into hi my name is terry Jaden. mine's murray Jaden. and uh we were the ones that um helped sean and katrina start on this next journey of their life which they you know hopefully still love us for i guess it all started back in april of uh, 2010 and we had had our business up for sale and then we had taken it off the market and then one day the phone rang and it was a real estate agent and he said uh, so do you guys still want to sell your business and Murray was in the back doing the dishes and I yelled at him I said hey you want to sell our business and he go well do they want to buy a business or do they want to buy a party business so but so it went on to for there that they did buy a party business we definitely dove in. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and so we took over, it was kind of a, you know, we bought from Terry and Murray, uh, Jane and who are still really close, awesome friends of ours that kind of still guide us every once in a while. And uh, yeah, and then it just became this bombardment of busy and weddings and, you know, we kind of adjusted so we could make it our own and what we wanted that to be like and 10 years later, here we are, yep. finally. <laughs> I remember Kirsten coming home one day and telling me, she was like, hey, um, I think I'm going to um, work with other girls with their wedding money with my best friend to make dream weddings. That sounds like a pretty cool thing. And I'm like, huh, working with your best friend and you're going to spend other people's money on dream weddings. Okay, that sounds like... And I, I pretty much best job ever. And that, I think that in the early days, I think that was the recipe for success, right? It was two best friends having fun uh like like in this like dream opportunity well we started off on stickney avenue like you said right underneath the a street bridge in um, a little in a little it was like just over 1800 square feet and uh it was absolutely sufficient at the time and yeah. then uh and we... actually the thing that i kept saying to katrina i was like you gotta stop buying stuff because <laughs> like <laughs> we are maxed out <laughs> And, uh, well, and at the time, like we invested in, we bought our own tablecloths and yeah. things like that, things that party professionals didn't have before. Um, and we wanted to just be more than what we were. So we, yeah. we ended up buying a lot of things and quickly realized that that tiny space that didn't even have an overhead door for us to use. Yeah. And I remember like, even just, it sounds so funny now saying it out loud, but I remember they were like, okay, we want to bring in tablecloths. And like, we were like, what? Like you're gonna bring in tablecloths, and so like they, there was like a serious discussion about tablecloths. And um, I know she was scared because she always thought she was she was young, and who was gonna listen to her and what were they gonna say? But you know her passion, her um, confidence, her demeanor, everything about her has just made that business grow. Um, and Sean, you know, he's so hands-on with. Um, you know, building things and, and his connections that he had in order to, to get different kind of products and stuff. And, you know, and then they did, they just took, took it to the next level. Well, when we, when we first started and I asked my friend Kirst to come and work for us, she had been, I don't even know what she was doing at the time. And she was working at FPC. Yeah. And I said, I think you should come work for us yeah. and be like my right hand girl. And it led into this like wonderful crazy like she was worked for us and we were so close to friends and she yeah. really i would say a test have helped us take this off the ground oh yeah for sure she yeah. definitely helped us go to the next level yeah, yeah and 100 um, yeah and then like we've had a few we've we had people that work for us for a long time yeah. um randy peters he's he's been there since we 
bought this building. He helped me renovate it yeah. with another guy. And uh, yeah, that dude, that dude will go anywhere. Yeah. He'll, he, he never says no. He's just fantastic. And yeah. Uh, yeah, and right now, like we've got, we've got Val and Randy and Sean that basically that's their, they look after the back and they run the show and I don't have to worry. And then I'm up here with Lori and we kind of, we do the selling and all uh, prettier stuff, I guess. My name is Valerie. Um, I've been working for Katrina and John for two years. And before that I was working for them casually for about a year or so. Um, so I've known them for about that long. As business owners, I'd say the best word to describe them is they're generous. And they're generous with their time, they're generous with their advice, and just generally good people to work for. Like they actually, they care about you, they care about your personal life, not just, you didn't just walk into the office and you're at work. It's like, they know you more in a personal way than you would in any other big company. I'm R Randy Peters. I moved to Brandon in 2010, July, and I started knowing uh, Sean's mom, and I started to know Sean and Katrina after. Doing odd jobs for them, and Sean hired me. I've been with him, I would say, about five years. And other than that, I, I, I respect him as a boss, but I treat him as a family, I do. Well, I think it's very clear, because I am always kind of like the the face, the front face. Like I basically kind of run the front end and Sean runs the back end. So he doesn't go in my space and I don't go in his. Um, I would say territory definitely gets uh, stepped on for sure. But. <laughs> but like I look after the selling of the weddings and the, you know, the marketing and the interaction with clients and all that kind of front end stuff to I would call it maybe the vision of Party Pros and the, and what people want. And then Sean does an amazing job of making that happen. Because I'll often yeah. be like, we can do that for oh, yeah. you. And then I'll be like, hey, yeah. Sean, how do we do this? <laughs> yeah. And no, it, should, it never goes in that order. It, it, well, yeah, it, sorry, it does always go in that order. It's always, absolutely, we can definitely do that for you. <laughs> She'll, customer walks out the door and Katrina goes to the back and she's like, you're going to be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah. But he always yeah. finds a way. Yeah. Well, the whole crew finds a yeah, way for we sure. Have a crew. We, we, have we definitely crew. have, over the years, been very fortunate with our staff by yeah. 100%. So. Yeah. Or Katrina for sure has a real passion for this. And, and Sean supports everything that she dreams up and comes up with. And, and she puts her heart and soul into whether she's doing the wedding expo, which is really for her, or setting up somebody's wedding or a birthday party or just whatever she does she puts her heart and soul into it and um so like she's setting it up for herself so she wants it perfect for her yeah. for herself or her family or whatever you want to say yes yeah. like she really does it takes it right to the top like 100 110 percent which she couldn't do without sean yeah, and i don't think that no is even part of their vocabulary anyone shows up and asks them for something and they find a way the two of them we got to say that right no is not part of katrina's vocabulary sean just <laughs> says okay and goes along with it and tries to figure a way out yeah I mean, sean does a great job but they basically are up for any challenge and it's cool to watch them work together and creating whatever visions are brought forth to them katrina can have a, con a simple conversation with a bride or a client and it could be a 10 minute conversation that she could totally take and make their vision a reality. Like, it's amazing the thought that she puts into it and she puts her heart and her soul totally into her business. Like it's, it's pretty incredible to watch. Katrina is probably the nicest, warmest, warm, fuzzy kind of person that you'll ever meet. Um, she's super smart. I don't know how she keeps all the information in her head that she does. It blows my mind and I would never, I could never be like that and I don't know how she does it, but she does it. Um, Sean, as most of you probably will know and as Sean you know, you are also super jolly at all times. Uh -huh. Just kidding. It's my favorite. Can I like just tell a story? Is that not even a story? No, my favorite. My favorite thing was we're gonna dance land is seeing the PP's trailer pull up, 
and Sean's extremely unsatisfied face just like gets out of the truck like Fuck, we're doing this again but like <laughs> loving every single moment of it and my, my even favorite part is when Katrina would come with him because <laughs> Katrina would be like set this up and then Sean would do it begrudgingly of course like like Sean does and then Katrina would be like oh no just kidding we're moving it over here and <laughs> Sean and Randy like they got me, they got me. I quite enjoy Sean, he's quite dry. Some would say miserable. I just say, you know, do it, living his best life, just being casual. Katrina, she just never stops. She's always uh, looking for what's new. She always wants to learn more. She's always you know, totally motivated to just push herself forward, but also the industry, she just takes us all along with her. Um, and Sean, he just like, he, he always jokes that he, he's just like the helper, but he, he'll, whatever you dream up, he will make it happen. Like he is, he can just make anything and he might grumble about it, but then he does it and he'll do it even past what you originally asked for so that it's just like this next level entity. And they just, yeah, they do it together so well. <laughs> Some of those brides are um, more than I could deal with. <laughs> But they do it so, so well, and they do it so well together. And of course, they have their moments, but they've really figured out how to like work through those little things and let it go and keep going. And, and they're such strong supports for each other. And yeah, Sean's just, yep, 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 he's learned. <laughs> and then we have a whack of part timers and people that come in and help us and takedowns and setups. Yeah. And we have spent many years, the first few years, like my parents and family were oh, setting yeah. up with us every weekend because we didn't have any money to pay staff. Um, my little sister Bailey worked for us for a long time Yeah. in the summers and stuff. So yeah, we- Kirsten's husband, Chris Turcott. Yeah. <laughs> this kind of got defaulted into working with us because she, she had to work every Sunday. So Chris, yeah. Chris, Chris was there every along. Sunday. and. Yeah. Yeah. Like my mom, everybody, my family comes in, they work the whole expo with like, we really could not do what we have done to this point without our family. Yeah. For sure, because they're always willing to help lend a hand, like the, the number of teardowns that we've pulled them on, even Bailey's own wedding. I was like, okay, family, let's tear this entire thing <laughs> Oh yeah. Down. Well, it's been, I can't believe it's been 10 years. It um, doesn't feel like that at all, but. Um, I mean, we're so proud of you, so proud of them and of you guys and and just watching you guys build this business up to be something so amazing and, and you yourselves growing and raising your family in, in the midst of it and it's just, you guys are just kind of unstoppable and, and just a, you know, a powerful goal and a power family and we just, we couldn't be prouder of you and we're always there to help you and and you know, wherever the road takes you next, you know, we're always gonna be here and we just uh, we love you guys and and uh, happy 10 years and you should be very proud of yourselves. You can just see the passion from both Sean and Kat, not only when they're working, but when we're together as families and stuff away from work, they're always talking about it. It's something that's just a part of them. Um, there's always ways they're looking at doing things differently um, and evolving and growing what they can do. And um, yeah, it's just something that they're living and breathing every day. Passion's like the perfect word for it. Like they love what they do, both of them, even as Sean grumps about it while he's doing it. They do, they like to put a vision together, which I think is really perfect for people's weddings, like, or, and beyond that events. But I think they, Kat especially understands like that those events are very special to people and she makes sure that each one of those is unique and special for them and it's nice to watch an event come together or watch a space that you've been in a hundred times since you were a kid transform into a completely different place. That's pretty amazing too. The passion, the amount of passion Katrina has, she leads the wedding industry in Brandon. She, she kind of just, she helps everyone. It's amazing. Hey, what's the passion that runs in you for this business? I'll let you go first. Hmm. Pass. Well, that wouldn't. Well, I, I have. I'm obsessed with weddings. I will like do weddings all day and then go home and watch a show about weddings. I've been like that since I was a little girl. Um, it's also the helping people. Like the, they. I'm gonna start crying already. They come in with this vision and then you can do it and then they just 
they're so grateful and you meet so many people and friends and I think it's just that satisfaction of being like I did that for you on your most important day our team came in and you walk in and you love it and yeah so I think that's for me that and drive to always like do better and and be better at what we do and be creative and try new things I think is a lot for me that passion yeah and honestly what does it for me is like I do it for Katrina like I know how much she loves this <laughs> uh, well it's, it, it's true though but I know how much she loves it like you guys have no idea she goes home and she's on her phone till 10 o'clock every night and talking to brides either looking at stuff for the brides like she doesn't stop so this is this is 24 hours for her so I don't know if, if I could do anything it's just to make her happy like I know that sounds really cheesy and whatnot but when you see I don't know when you see someone get exactly what they want and it, like their vision and you help do it nothing's better than that I just want to say um, happy 10 years. You guys are amazingly passionate and creative um, and wonderful at what you do. You're wonderful friends and I've come to know you guys a lot more these last three years and I'm loving it and I love all of our chats and texts and pop-ins and um, wine nights with the girls. Love it. Um, cheers to 10 years more, I guess. Congratulations for owning your business for 10 years. I know it has been tough and there were ups and there were downs, but you guys seem to work work it out very nicely and you always knew what to do, what was the right thing to do. And, and I hope you have lots more to come. I miss you guys so much and I wish I was there and I love you guys very much. Well, congratulations to Katrina. Congratulations to Sean. Congratulations to your family, little Finn and Gray. I know that they're part of every step of the day too. And um, I just wish you all the best of luck for the next 500 years if you guys choose. I know that this industry is a hard industry, but you make it look easy. But congratulations on everything that you've done. Well, congratulations on 10 years. I'm sorry you don't get to have the big party. I, you know, we love a party. Um, we love you very much and we are so, so very proud of you. Yes, very proud. And you guys hang in there and you'll do fine. Um, so many people are proud of what you guys do and how you contribute to, to your community. And so I wish you all the best. It's been amazing to watch you guys through this journey. And so thank you for everything you do and letting me be a part of it. Uh, I just want to say congratulations on 10 years, Katrina and Sean. You guys are awesome. I am blessed to have you in my life. I'm blessed to have you guys as friends outside of work. Um, you guys are killing it as always, as you have been for the last 10 years. I hope that, I don't think you want to do this forever, but I hope you do it for as long as you love it. <laughs> And um, yeah, congratulations on 10 years, and I love you guys. We wish you guys nothing but success and happiness and love, and we're so proud of you guys, and we love you very much. Congratulations. <laughs> Katrina and Sean, I'm so proud of what you've done, not only with your family, but especially with what you've created with Party Professionals. You're, you've built something amazing and something that you should be completely 100,000% proud of. It is a pleasure to, to work with you. It is an honor to know you. And I love that I get to call you my friends. Thank you for being who you are and congratulations on 10 years. Here's to 100 more. 10 years now, you've seen them all. What would you like to say? Um, I'm gonna cry again. I just wanna say thank you. Um, sometimes you get lost in the day to day and then I just seen that video and it just, my heart is so full right now because we've created these amazing, those people are our best friends and they're our world and they're our family. And for them to say those things about us, 
I'm just so grateful and I'm grateful for every single person who decided to choose us, whether it was for a $5 rental or 5,000 or whatever. I just thank you. Um, I hope that we make people happy and I hope that we give them their dreams, I think. <laughs> well, I definitely, uh, from I've seen reactions and stuff from the brides and customers and whatnot. You know, it's it's amazing to see that. And honestly, for our friends to recognize everything like that and say things like that, you know, that what more could you ask for? And I think, I think especially like COVID's been hard. I mean, you you kind of just get everything ripped out from under you right now, and you know, you you're focusing on forward and positive, and and you think about all the all of our friends who who are in this and. This just kind of reignites that we're gonna get through and it's gonna be awesome. And it's maybe just meant as a pause to like really remember what we're doing this for. And instead of getting into the busy of the day to day, you stop and really reflect on what's important. And that's, you know, making people happy. That's all we wanna do, I think. Yeah, like I know there's so many people worried about how things are going to change and whatnot, and I honestly don't know, like, what's going to happen. But this is the way everyone reacts. It's not like anyone likes the situation that we're in. So I just hope we all come out of it. And I know myself personally, I feel refreshed. Like, I'm not going to lie, like, I do feel refreshed. <laughs> and... Um, I feel like I have another 10 years left in me, right? So I'm going to come out of this swinging. <laughs> so Maybe less grumpy. <laughs> definitely, yeah. No, but I don't know. I, I just want to say I want to thank everyone for doing that and saying things like that because honestly, it inspired me to, you know, do it more. Yep. That was, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's it. We're done.